What's up guys and welcome back to another flight report and today we are flying from here Stockholm Skavsta back to London Stansted on board Ryanair. The operating aircraft is a Boeing 737-800 and registration is EIDLD Delta Lima Delta. So he's not new to the fleet. So he's built in 2005 and delivered in 2006. And he was fitted with winglets in 2007. So we are unlucky again because we didn't get the sky interior. It's just a standard old cabin. So um, um, flight time to Stansted should be around two hours and or even one hour and 55 minutes. And this plane just came to a stop from after landing from Stansted as FR58. And we'll be flying back as FR59. You see that subplane over there. I'm sorry you can't see it very well. It's not our fault, it's just parked there. So, um, there's Delta Lima Delta taking us back home tonight. And I think it's the, and it is the standard, old yellow standard cabin, so yeah. So, I'll see you there. Okay, so this is the exciting bit. We're boarding. It's Delta Lima Delta. That's Echo Victor Bravo just came in from Thessaloniki. Oh, he's sleeping, by the way. Well, we've got a great view of the plane. Okay, so we're on board. This is old yellow cabin, as you can see. Okay. Okay. This is the wing.
Excusez-moi. Non, non, non. Merci, Rosanna. Merci, Rosanna. Okay, so we're on board and um, it's Delta Lima Delta. We're on board and um, he's built in 2005. And you see the winglets over there. We don't have a blank winglet this time. It's just. Um, this uh, many Ryanair aircraft with blank winglets, so this one doesn't have it. Unfortunately, we are unlucky. We didn't get the sky interior again. You know, we need to get it one day. See there's still passengers boarding. Basically, we do have a bit of delay in our departure because the plane arrived a bit late from Stansted. It was a bit delayed. I think it was delayed by about 45 minutes or 50 minutes from there. We are unlucky this time because we didn't get the sky interior. I wish we got it. We've been flying on Ryanair. This is the ninth time we're flying on Ryanair. And we still, this ninth time we're flying, ninth flight report on Ryanair. There's still no sky interior. It's the ninth flight report ever since the stunk, ninth time I've been on Ryanair. Ever since the um, Ryanair rolled out its sky interior, it's the ninth time I'm flying. Ever since Ryanair rolled out its sky interior. And none of these times have been lucky for us because we keep on getting the standard old cabin. Honestly, what is Ryanair doing? I don't know why they don't want to get the sky interior for us. We just want to have it once. I mean, like, it's um, a good experience. It's really nice.
So I'll see you when we're pushing back. Exit in the center of the cabin. Okay, so we're now pushing right. back. Please note the nearest exit to you, which may be behind you. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal end into the buckle. To secure, pull on the loose end of the strap. And to open, lift the buckle cover. So the flight's in delayed the by an hour. Of cabin pressure, individual oxygen marks so we should be arriving at Stansted at about 12 midnight. If this happens, that means we'll be home by one or two. On the mask to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Don't worry if the bag does not inflate. Oxygen is flowing. To secure the mask, pull one end of the strap. Adults traveling with young children, please attend to your own mask first. Your life jacket is stowed in a pocket beneath your seat or in the panel above your head. Okay, it's the first engine starting up. And secure as the crew are now demonstrating. To inflate the life jacket, pull down sharply on the red toggle. There is a mouthpiece for further inflation or deflation and a light to attract attention. Do not inflate your life jacket inside the cabin. By the way, we were on stand seven this time. Further information may be found on so, the mostly comes on stand eight. But wherever stand it is on, you leave from gate five. Please now ensure that your seat belt is securely fastened. Tray table is in the upright and locked position. Armrests down and window blinds open. We recommend for your comfort and safety that you keep your seat belt fastened throughout the flight. There is a call bell, reading light and fresh air vent in the panel above your head. Portable electronic devices such as tablets and mobile phones. The second engine. Mode. All engines are on. Throughout the flight. Please select flight mode now. Laptops must be stowed in cabin baggage under the seat in front of you or in the overhead locker for taxi, takeoff and landing. We would like to remind you that smoking is not permitted. Thank you for your attention. Please sit back, relax and enjoy your flight. Okay. I can see the crew just typing in a number for the Swedish announcement. Okay, her accent is so bad. Flaps are being extended. Oh, spoilers. I think they're being set to um, 15 or 10. Or even 20, 15 or 20, I don't know. What is wrong with her accent? Her accent should be Arabic. Oh my god, oh my god. Her accent is like... Ugh. Her voice sounds like she's just been sick. Okay, so we're departing. Let's take over to Bravo over there. As you can see, he landed from Thessaloniki about an hour ago, so he's um, he's got nowhere to go for the, for, uh, for the rest of tonight. He's going to fly tomorrow morning, hopefully. Echo Victor Bravo, he's built in 2012, or maybe 11, so he's five or six years old, wherever he is. He hasn't even switched off his lights. Well. There's still people in the plane. No, 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 I think the crew's still in the plane. Oh, what the hell is this plane? I think it's just some random military plane. See on the runway. Your life jacket in the in the bag just above your head. Thank you. 
and Scott Life Safety Regulations shall be dimming the cabin lights for takeoff. If you wish to continue reading, you will find a reading light in the panel above your head. This is normal procedure while flying in the outer darkness. Okay, so the lights are off and it's a normal procedure when you're flying at night or in darkness. Okay, so it's almost time to say bye-bye to Stockholm, Skafsta Airport and Sweden. Kamaku, seats five, five, please. Sweden's been okay, to be honest. Haven't enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it before. are on the runway. And we're increasing the thrust.
but they're too greasy. It'd make me feel ill if I had it, so I just went with a healthier option instead. It's the packaging.
the UK now. I think we're over north, north of Essex or the south of Suffolk. Or somewhere like that.
so the cabin lights haven't been dimmed yet. And by the way, um, in Scavston when we landed, when we flew two weeks ago, we um, we landed on the runway that goes from uh, west to east. No, no, east to west. I didn't mean from um, north to south. I meant from east to west because when you land on the road, they can do hard braking. They used four reverse, I know. And I asked the captain after landing, and he said that they used flaps 40. So that's why it was a hard braking, a bit of a slow landing than usual. Flaps 40 is four flaps on the 737 NG. And also the 737 Max. I'm not sure about the other aircraft types because I mostly know more about the um, 737NG. Or oh, flaps being uh, extended to something. So we're now making a left turn to aim for the runaway at Stansted. I think flaps are set to 5 or 10. Whatever it is, they are going to use idle reverse. And this aircraft cannot deploy full spoilers because most aircraft of Ryanair are not equipped with the SFP short field performance package, uh, which has many special features to aircraft. I know that Norwegian does have it on many airlines across the world, now do have it on their 737s, 737 NGs. But Ryanair has recently ruled out some since May this year. The ones with the SFP, they have better, like they have a spoiler detent, and they come with the spoilers deflect fully. Oh, in-flight spoilers! I love this feeling, by the way. And they use flaps 30, sometimes even 25 on the 77, but they do sometimes use flaps 40 as well for short runaways and hard braking. They can even use flaps 30 for hard braking as well. The flap seam light depends on the wind and how long or short the runway is. Okay, so um, landing gear should be, sorry, extended in any second by now. set to um, 10 or 15 that are 15 probably or 10 they're being set to more who knows 15 maybe or even 20 15 or 20 let's say so landing gear should be extended in any minute Flight spoilers again. So I think it is going to be a hard braking. Landing gear should be out now. It's going to come out. It's um, flaps 30 or 40. I think it's 
flaps 30, so it might be hard braking. Cabin lights are dimmed and we are prepared for landing. Just on our short final now. Actually, it might be flaps 40. Okay, so I can see England now, the UK. I think it's flaps 30 they're using. 40 maybe. Who knows? Okay, so are you all ready for landing? Are you all ready? Are we all ready? Oh my god, another hard touch down. And it is idle reverse. Hard braking. Not too much of a hard braking. It was a hard touchdown. A little bit of hard brakes, not really. But we took the first exit off the runway, so yeah. Flaps being set back to zero. You can hear them still brakes. Okay, so welcome back to London Stansted Airport, everyone. And it's been a nice flight from Skafsta Airport in Stockholm. Oh, we're well, not really in Stockholm. That's the Ryanair maintenance hangar here at Stansted. What the heck is quarter past 12? I think there are a few aircraft in the hangar over there. It wasn't really hard braking. Okay, so we finally arrived here at Stansted. So we're just now uh, finding our way to our parking position. It was idle reverse. I think it was flaps 30 or 40. Probably 30, I say. Because the flaps weren't that down. Well, I'm gonna ask the captain and let you know later. Probably in another news video or something. In my next video, I will let you know what flap setting they used. I'm gonna ask the pilot. Oh my, oh my, there we have a FedEx. FedEx cargo. So that's a FedEx cargo, McDonnell Douglas MD-11. I think he's sleeping here. So you can see a lot of these are standstill. We have uh, some other aircraft there. I think we have some Jet 2s. Oh, and we have uh, Qatar. Qatar Airways Cargo 777-200 and a West Atlantic, I think it's a 737-300 and we have a Jet 2, 737-800, EasyJet A319 and Thompson 737-800 and uh, also we have a, I think it's a Titan Airways Cargo, I'm not sure EasyJet A319, A319, GEZIS, Echo Zulu India, Sierra, so Jet 2, 7 and Jet 2 Holidays, and we have some um, Fox Ross Zulu Golf, that is the sky interior. This is, um, what's it called? Foxtrot India Oscar. 
Bill in 2015. I don't know what that one is. That's Delta Papa Bravo. <laughs> Oh wow, we have a Jet 2 on a remote stand with all Ryanairs. Okay. Delta Whiskey Sierra there. And okay, so we parked on um, I don't know, gate 50 something, but stand 64R. So we're not on one of them remote stands, so we're just going to walk straight into the terminal. So we park next to Delta Whiskey Sierra and another aircraft that's on the left of us, I don't know that. Okay, so this is our parking position and came to a stop and yep, there we are. So welcome back to London Stansted Airport everyone. And um, once again, so welcome to London Stansted Airport everyone. It's been a nice, it's been a nice flight from Stockholm to Kavstan. Thank you very much for watching and please like this video and comment and also leave a like on this video comment and subscribe to my channel like trains plays or aviation etc and please also like watch my flight report to Stockholm scouts from here and also watch many of my other videos in the past so there will be more videos in the future there won't be any flight reports so far but there might might one percent there might be one I'll let you know if there is. Sorry, guys. So, we'll let you know if there is. You can also follow me on Instagram. And uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And please like, comment, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to see you again soon. And if you have any questions, ask me anytime. Don't suffer in silence. Ah, oh, see, APU shut him down. Okay, so oh, it's really silent in the cabin. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and good night to you all.